Guys, this is Mr. Joshy J, and this is your match review of the Wolves versus Manchester United in the Premier League. It finished 1-0 to Manchester United away at Monningu. What can I say? In the first half, I thought it was quite an even game. The biggest headline now at the start of the match was Marcus Rashford dropped to the bench because apparently... He overslept, so his punishment was to be on the bench, but he had the last laugh because Marcus Rashford got the winner. I mean, he could have had the second goal, but VAR disallowed it because it was handball. But a 1-0 victory, I mean, Manchester United, the biggest concern for me is anti Marshall. I mean, when you need him in games like this, when Marcus Rashford is on the bench, he's really got to start delivering, there's no excuses, to me, he's just so lazy, uh, to be honest, I'll just put him on the transfer market and get someone else, I mean, I've tried my best to be as patient with Hansi Marshall as possible, but yeah, recently, just nowhere near good enough, not Manchester United standards, I don't think, I mean, he did brilliant in his debut season, scoring on his debut against Liverpool. I'll never forget that, but you've got to be doing that week in, week out. And he just hasn't, so that's why I feel we should look for another striker. But also, I heard some reports what really angered me is they reckon De Gea is being offered a new contract, but... With a pay cut. I mean, what the actual fuck is that all about Manchester United's football club? De Gea is one of our best players. And you want him to take a pay cut? Fuck off. He's having a fucking laugh. Seriously, man. I mean, just that's disgraceful by Manchester United. That really is. If I was De Gea, I'd be like, fuck off. Manchester United's football club. The, the sooner the Glazers sell the football club, the better. What are you doing? Where's all the money going? Oh, yeah. Tampa fucking Bay is where the money is all going. Seriously, man. The sooner they get out, the better. I mean, just... That is absolutely criminal to try and get De Gea to take a pay cut. Fucking ridiculous, see? Really is, and I'm so angry about that. Right, rant over. But Ganacho, he started the game, and Anthony also started as well. Marcus Rashford really was the only change who didn't start this game. All the rest of the players started, apart from Marcus Rashford. Obviously, Wan Bissaka played again. Because Diego Delo has had an injury. But i got to say, Aaron wan has been doing a decent job these last few games. So you have to give him credit. But obviously when Diego Delo is hit, I expect Diego Delo to be back in the team. Or he may have to earn his place back in the team if Aaron wan carries on playing well. De Gea... He made a great save near the end of the game because it's so easy it could have been 1-1. I mean, I wouldn't say it was vintage by Manchester United by any shape or form, but we got the win, which we needed, and we're currently in fourth at the moment, but if Tottenham win their game tomorrow. They'll go back ahead of us again. But as it stands, we're in the top four, and that is our goal for this season, is to finish top four. So, right, let's go on to player ratings, shall we? David De Gea didn't have much to do all game, but I'm going to give him a second because what a save that was near the end of the game. Because if he wasn't alert to that, Wolves so easy could have nicked a point. Honestly, Aaron wan second. I thought he defended brilliantly, Aaron wan -Bissaka. Tyrell Marashia. I'll give him... A second, I thought he was brilliant in the centre-back position. I really did. Horan, second, yes, I thought he defended well. Luke Shaw, second, a crucial block once a 
Head it away. That is a really good side like show. Casemiro. I'll give him a seven as well. I thought he played very well. Christian Eriksen. I'll give him a six. I thought he did okay. Bruno Fernandes. I'm actually going to give him a six. Because I thought he's quite quiet today. And that free kick he took. Oh my goodness. He fucking dreadful. That ball was almost going up into orbit, man, how he hit that. Ridiculous. Anthony, the player who I forgot in the last video, I'll give him a six, because I don't think he did to manage the game, really. Ganacho, I'm actually going to give him a seven, because I thought he played really well up front. Anthony Marshall, three, I mean... God be giving him a free hand on you. He's got to be doing much more than that Anthony Marshall, honestly. Yeah, free for Anthony Marshall. Man of match, it's difficult to say. I mean, there were some good performances. I'll probably get it to Juan Bissaka because I thought he was decent. Manager ratings. Wall, I have no idea in the Wolves manager's name, so I'm just going to say give him a rating. 8 out of 10, I thought he set up well. Eric Ten Hogg for the team selection. 8 out of 10, very happy in the lineup. Referee performance. 7 out of 10, thought he had a decent game. So that's the match review done. Player ratings done. Manager ratings done. Final video of 2022. Now, I think I deserve a huge round of applause. Because every single day this year, I have posted out a video to you. I mean, I've been doing daily uploads since April last year. But throughout the whole 2022, the whole calendar year, I have brought you out a video every single day. So I'm going to give myself a big round of applause for that. Because that is massive commitment. And no doubt the highlight of 2022 for me was hitting that 500 subscribers mark. So, Happy New Year to you all. Enjoy the rest of 2022. Because we have roughly about just under three hours left now. It's 9.01. So, yep. Enjoy, guys. Enjoy your evening. Bye-bye.